Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today we're going to do a super fun funnel pour. Um, I'm going to start by adding paint into my bowl here. All of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. The materials will be in the description. So I'm using white, which is Artist Law Flow Acrylics. That was a metallic blue, which is Arteza. This is a metallic purple, also Arteza. Um, this is a green, which is actually several different paints mixed together, different brands. And all of my paints mixed with Floetrol and water. Do not forget to check down in the description for all the materials. And I have a silicone bowl here, and I'm going to put about 7 ounces of paint. So under here I have a 10 by 10 canvas, actually a little bit less than 7 ounces of paint, because I'm going to put some white paint on the canvas as well. So this is a purple, and then I'm going to add some bronze. A little more white. Okay, good. So I'm going to set this aside and I'm going to go ahead and quickly cover the canvas with white. It doesn't have to be perfectly covered. Um, I'm just putting a thin layer here and that's just to give it a base to move around in. You'll kind of see why in a minute. That's really all you need. And then just real quick, I like to put another little base here. So now I'm going to take my funnel. This is also a silicone funnel from Lowly Vefe. So silicone mat under here, silicone funnel, silicone bowl. This stuff is all reusable. The paint peels off. It's amazing. So I'm going to put my funnel directly on the canvas into the white paint. And then I'm going to pour the paint from here into my funnel. So this is kind of going to come out twice. You can also pour the colors one at a time into your funnel. I am going to now slowly lift up and it's going to come out underneath this white paint. You can just do it in one place, but I like to kind of go in a bit of a spiral. Just my personal preference. So this can be actually a really fun way to get cells because the paint pushes through that white. Now this is very interesting because I don't see any, any of the uh, purple or blue or anything that I put in there yet. I just pretty much see the black and the gold. So let's see what happens as we tilt. Now a lot of times you guys ask why I don't torch. Um, you can absolutely torch, that's a personal preference as well. In this case it might actually help. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see the difference that it can make. But it will only make this difference with certain techniques not all of them in most cases you don't need a torch and I generally don't like using it because it's kind of out of my control and it can cause some pinholes which I don't necessarily like so that's why I don't usually use it also just as a note I have never actually done a funnel pour as a, a dirty pour I don't think I just realized I've always put the colors one at a time into the funnel. So I'm getting a different result here than I'm used to, but I'm liking it. Just the colors mixed a lot more <laughs> than I was anticipating. Okay. Well, that was very unexpected. But I'm really happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and let this sit here for a little bit. We're going to see what else develops. I actually do see some blue popping up through here. So basically the colors are underneath and I'm going to see what comes up through it. So we will be back. 
All right, we're back. Definitely more kind of pinhole cells popped up. Either way, I think this is really cool. Let's do our close up. So starting in the lower right hand corner, let's go up to the upper right hand corner. So if you look kind of in this section, you can see little blue and green dots. I'm going to just take you down this line because you can see those little bits of color kind of popping through. Um, but back to upper right hand corner, or sorry, upper left hand corner and lower left hand corner and then our center. All right, guys, so there you go. Um, funnel pour. I definitely think next time I will not be doing the torches. This is why I don't like doing the torches because you get all those, you can get all those little pinholes, especially when you're not using silicone. But either way, like I said, really cool. I'm very happy with how this came out. Totally unexpected just due to the colors that I put in there, but awesome. I will see you guys next time.